Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Today I want to run my Benertex uh, new fabric video. I know some of you got to see it already, but a lot of you have not seen it. So I have a bit of a front end and then you want to say the back end because I'm adding a little bit extra that I didn't show you when I did the video for Benertex. So first we have on our calendar is Welcome home. It is block number five, I believe. Yeah, block number five. So we've got the first row done. Uh, and now we're down to this block over here with the heart and the little applique bird. Now, if you're allergic to applique, you can leave the bird off, but it is so darn cute. So I do want to show you a little bit about coloration, just sort of point out how I balance these colors. As you know, I did these blocks a while back, a couple years ago. And so I'm rebooting the sew along and I will start sewing new blocks when we get to this one. And then there's another row below that. So these blocks are already done. And what I have is these, these are Christmas fabrics, but they don't feel super Christmassy. So they're, um, so which I really like about it. I've got a little pin dot for the background. And then what I did is I was balancing out colors. So I have red, aqua, green, red. Now, I don't want to repeat that sequence of color on the next row. So I have to start with green, red, aqua, and then a black. So I'm balancing those colors down here. Now it's aqua first. So you can see red first, green first, then aqua first. And that way it's, it sort of flows. The colors all flow across. You don't see sort of a column of red houses or uh, a swatch across of, of you know, green houses. I want them to be mixed up. And that's really done on purpose and having to really um, look at those to be sure that everything is, is balancing out correctly. So I can't wait to start making new ones, but in a way I can because I have a lot of other things to do. So <laughs> it's sort of nice to have a little break. I could just show you the ones I've already done. Okay, a few other things. My friend received the Woodland Wonderland I sent her. Ah, oh, she was so surprised. Yes, I was afraid maybe she figured out I was sending it to her <laughs> because sometimes she watches my videos. Uh, but I, she didn't. She was so surprised and it's been a bit of a rough week and so she was really excited to have such a fun, fun quilt to arrive. Uh, <laughs> So yes, yay for surprising people. That is the best thing ever when you send it and they don't know it's coming. Uh, so now I have another topic. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, one of our friends, Nancy, emailed me that in her community, which is just outside Chicago, Illinois, here in the United States, they have a refugee family from Ukraine that they are sponsoring, that the community is sponsoring this family to get them set up. They're here. It is three generations with eight family members and they're finding housing and uh, furnishing and just the whole, the whole ball of wax. And so she asked me if um, I could put a shout out here to our community for those of you who may have a lap size quilt done that would like to uh, give that quilt to this re refugee family as a big warm hug from us. Now it does not have to be blue and yellow. Uh, so if you have a lap quilt ready for charity, email me pat at patsloan.com and then I will put you in contact with Nancy directly and then she will give you the mailing address of you know how they're handling this and how they're coordinating it. So that is what we're doing. You would be mailing to the Chicago, Illinois area in the United States uh, and you will email me first and then you will get in contact with uh, Nancy who's organizing it. Okay, and a mail call. <laughs> This wonderful card and a goodie box came from Ronnie in Ontario, Canada. Isn't that wonderful? It's so pretty and it's glittery. Can you see it's glittery. <laughs> now Ronnie thinks I need a big box of candy. <laughs> so I and I do, I always do. <laughs> so she sent me this whole container with, let me just open it here a second. So it has yummy, yummy candies. Oh, these are so good. If you've never had them, you have to have them. And then she sent me some lint, which are always super fabulous, and some edges. A whole bunch of selvages, uh, you know, in here. It's cool. Look at that. That looks good. Green. That green is pretty. Of course, Canada is hockey players. I just noticed that. <laughs> Perfect. 
Thank you so much. Mwah. All right, let's watch the video and then I will give you a little, um, a little extra about the fabric designing. First, we'll look at Promise Me. Promise Me a Rose Garden. It's got beautiful roses. This is the free pattern that I designed for the fabric line. So I wanna show you the patterns that are in the line and then the colorations. After that, we'll look at the quilts. So there are one, two, three, four, five different patterns plus a wide back. And we'll zoom in here to the blue because that has one of each of the fabrics. So let's start with the Grand Flora, which is the roses. Ah, so, so wonderful. Great big cabbage roses. Now roses are my mom's favorite flower. So the next print I'm showing you is called Mom's Favorite. Uh, so I love the texture of the background, which is then you'll see a print on its own. These are the, tea, the teacup roses, teeny tiny roses. I love them all scattered with the little branches. The pathways, because you know every garden has to have a pathway. And these have got sort of that pearlesque on it. And then the reflecting pools, which is the actual wonderful background piece. Now it does come in several other colors. Those were all the navy. Comes, uh, many of these prints come in the black. Look at that, the black. And I've got two lights sort of a cream based and then a white plus two gray. I have the pinks, pink, pink, everything pink, and then a whole collection, each one in the greens with a couple of different shades of green. It's a little bit more of a blue green and then the lighter greens. Here is the wide back in black. It's in black, pink, white, green, and blue backgrounds and the roses are very much like the flora the grand flora but they're bigger scale a little bit bigger scale for the um the wide backs i'll start with the two free patterns for promise me the first is mine climbing roses these are nice big blocks uh they're fat quarter friendly so you can use a lot of the different fabrics and then pick your favorite one for the border i did this one in blue my buddy heidi pride Moore, she did a promise me free pattern and i loved how she used the black for the background of the blocks and then pulled the black floral for the border from wendy shepherd and so emma publication so let's do wendy's first so wendy's did the basket of, of blessings which is fat quarter friendly she kept it tight with the black the blue the pink and the gray uh, that gives it a really nice cohesive look so darling with that little star in the corner her fanciful floors is really incredible this one uh, you can see on a black background or a white background. It is also fat quarter friendly and it has two sizes, a lap size or a queen size. Now my favorite of hers is the little tea cats. Look at the tea cats, aren't they sweet? This is a, um, very friendly for 10 by 10 squares and I love the chain effect in it. The Still Emma publication, uh, they did biscuits which is really comes in two sizes, both like a wall size and then a lap size. They're debonair, which I just love with the stars. There's two types of stars. Who doesn't love a star? Galactic, intergalactic is very snazzy pattern. For those of you who like to use this sort of shape, those points, they are incredibly fun to do. Now, the trifles is super fun. This is using the strips, the strips, uh, pre-cut strips, and it comes with four sizes. You can do a crib, a lap, a twin, a twin or a queen. And I know a lot of you love twin quilts. By Annie, Annie Unrin has amazing bags. And so we are showing a couple of them here, the switch back, which is a convertible backpack to shoulder bag. Uh, I love that, that you can use, uh, this has got four different fabrics in it, sort of showcasing two of them and then one on the side. I have a lot of fun with this next line called sleepovers. Just think about that. When you had a sleepover, uh, it, you had a lot of fun things going on. So look at the names on these ones. The first one that I just was holding up is called pillowcases. Ah, perfect. Now I'm gonna make some pillowcases out of this. 
I like the paisley in there. This one is best friends. So it's basically taking those florals and compacting them and you'll see how gorgeous that is in the projects, particularly bags. Oh my goodness. The paisley by itself is the cozy slippers, which of course you must have on a sleepover. What else do you do? You watch a movie. There you go. Watching a movie is this print with a nice, really nice soft overall floral on it. The tiny little packed ones is um, makeovers. Got to have a makeover. <laughs> and pajamas. There you go. The cat's pajamas. This nice little scattered print. It's very a little bit more tonal. You'll see the other colors then. Uh, and the very last print in the line is called Phone the Boys because, you know, when we had sleepovers, that's what we did. Get on the phone, call the boys. <laughs> so there's also a whole set of the fabrics in green. And oh, they're just so yummy. And some of them, yeah, this green has just one of that print. And then the blue has a couple different options. So there's some that are a little bit more teal when you get here in the blue. There you go. So you get that in more blue and a little bit more bluey green. And then the same down here. Blue and a little bit more bluey green. And the wonderful wide back, which is taking that print and just expanding it a little bit bigger for the wide back in green, pink, and blue. Let's kick off the, <laughs> the sleepover with a pillow fight. This pattern is by Stephanie Sheridan and it is the free pattern for the line. She did an amazing job. So fun, uses so many of the different fabrics. And of course it's a pillow fight. Now, Wendy Shepard has done a few for this line and I love the cactus. This, I just had to have the cactus in these wonderful pastels, those flowers. Just think of a flowering cactus. So candy logs. This one uses strips. It is fat quarter friendly. Just wonderful. Great size, 77 by 77. And I love it with the blue like this. Just, now I need a blue chair too to go along with it. She also did garden tour for this, for this line and it uh, uses a lot of the, the fabrics as well so that you can sort of play around with the colors, position them. This is also a great one if you want to use less of the fabrics so that you can have less colors in it. It works really well both ways. Wendy and I, you know, I told you we love fun things. So she designed this picture wall for putting uh, sort of large images and we took all of the bigger florals to showcase and then all of the small prints for the bows and that just turned out so sweet. So Emma has a few for us. They all come, all of these come in three sizes, the crib or toddler size, a lap and a queen size. So Riverside is strip friendly, all kinds of uh, great um, strips plus the centers, which is a, you know, a bigger piece. Uh, Snapdragon, I love this block. I love how it's encased and each block is done with one fabric. So you, you know, you could mix it up some, but I like how it keeps that really cohesive. And then the last one is Summer Tide. Such a beautiful pattern. I could just really see this as a beautiful bed quilt on, on your bed. My Annie also has some patterns for me for a uh, sleepover. <laughs> of course you have to have you have to have cute things for your sleepover, right? For your nail polish and all that. So the catch-all caddy, you can put all your goodies in it. Of course, it's a quilting sleepover. You can put all your, your fabrics in there. The little clamshell is a zippy pouch. Uh, great for not just makeup and little tools, but you can put like your English paper piecing in there. It's a super cute project. And then got to get a get out of town bag. So you can showcase one of the wonderful florals from my line with a contrasting fabric. This tube here is part of the design process. I work with a Benertex artist. Her name is Jessica and she is also the same artist that does Eleanor Burns's fabric. And so basically Jessica is doing all the drawing for us. And then I, what I'm doing is putting in input and colors and, you know, I might have ideas, but she does all, she's the textile artist, not me. I'm not a textile artist. So I always work with a designer at the staff of the company, but these papers are what she sends me once we sort of get going. And I thought, that you might enjoy seeing it. This is for the fabric line sleepover. And so uh, these, these come 
and they're two scale. They're exactly, they're all on paper, printed on really good color uh, printers that they have at their office. And what she does is send me, you know, a bunch of colorations and then we decide what looks good. Um, is this a good balance? Does it need a little something? Uh, look at that, see? So they're all, and they've got numbers on them so that I can reference them if I need to tell her this fabric, uh, you know, could we add something to it? Or maybe sometimes she'll give me two. Let's see, I don't have any of those. There's the wide back. But sometimes she will send me two and say, do you want A or B? We'll say, let's say on this example here. Maybe we can only have, you know, there's only so many fabrics in the line. And so sometimes I'll get like, do you want an, an additional teal or do you want an additional blue? That kind of a thing. And I will, I will say what I want there. Um, so let me show you, I've got the green here and I want to show you what the real fabric looks like. This is the real fabric on the paper. Isn't that cool? I mean, they base, it basically looks the same, except that it's a little bit softer. So I'll just scroll you in there really quick. Uh, and you can see the lines in the final drawing on the fabric, the lines on the fabric are a bit softer. The edges are crisper than the rendering in off the printer. Uh, and then this is from the warehouse where they just mark, you know, what they've sent me, uh, the, and how much so that comes from them so isn't that neat you can barely tell the difference can you I mean the colors are really true although they are just tend to be just a tiny bit softer when they go into fabric so I wanted to show you that because it is fun to see uh, a little bit more behind the scenes so there are two fabric lines the promise me and the sleepover. So if you would ask your favorite quilt shop to contact Benner Tech's fabric manufacturing company and order for them, for your shop, that's, that's your favorite so that you can go there and purchase. I know that, that the fabric um, will be at the Fat Quarter Shop. She has already ordered it, which I'm so thankful for. So thank you, my friend. <laughs> I'm glad you were here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would hit subscri subscribe, uh, then you can always see more about what I'm up to every day. I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.